Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get and use this Anime Fighter Simulator script with so many features. Enjoy. Alright guys, so once you're in the script link in the description, you should see this page and of course you're going to want to copy the first script, which is going to be right here. You guys see script 1 right there. So that's the first script, so you guys are just going to want to copy the first load stream. Alright guys, so once you're loading into your game, you're going to want to take your executor and as you can see right there, today I'm going to be using Synapse. Synapse does cost $20, but you guys can get a chance to get it for free and all you need to do is leave a like. Make sure to be subscribed down below and comment something nice and do that until we hit our subscriber goal, which right now is 70k. So once we hit that subscriber goal, we will be doing 7 keys for Synapse plus 1 extra key, so 8 keys total. And the extra key is going to be for my members. So if you guys are trying to become a member, just click on that blue join button down below. But anyways, let's attach Synapse. Uh, remember guys, if you don't want to use Synapse, if you don't want to use any giveaways or any executors, that's fine. You can also use a free executor like Omega X in the last link in the description. But let me paste the load string, that the first one. And then you're going to want to execute it. And once you guys have executed the load string, you're going to want to look on the top left of your screen and you should see this, which is going to be the GUI. So let me expand it and now you guys see all the sections. So there's a main, world, and eggs section. So let's start off with the main. So first off, you got the creator's discord so you guys can join the creator's discord. I did not make this GUI. Hopefully you guys know that, but anyways, you can join the creator's discord there. Uh, first off, we got coin magnet. Pretty self-explanatory, it enabled it on the bottom right, as you saw. Oh my gosh, look at this guy, he got a whole army. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh my gosh, they're fighting him. <gasps> should, should I help? Hey, come on, die, attack, attack, yeah, get him. Yeah, look at this guy. Wait, what the, my guy's not, oh my, what happened, what is going on? Okay, I'm not going to get involved in that, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, so uh, let me turn off Coin Magnet for now, but... It, I don't see any coins, but like that's after you kill them. Let me see. Am I, is, is my guy strong enough? Let's turn on coin magnet again. And let's see. Is my guy... Yeah, he's pretty strong. Look at that. Seven damage. Oh my. He almost just died. Okay. Anyways. Coin magnet. You guys saw that? You saw that? It teleported to me. So pretty cool. Pretty helpful. You know, nothing crazy, but nothing too overpowered, right? And you can probably use this and get away without getting banned. So if you guys are trying to play legit or semi-legit you can try this feature out you also have redeem all codes so you click on it and it will redeem every single code in the game uh and there oh what the secret village anyways uh so you can get all the codes from the game just like that by clicking on the redeem all codes button you also have bonus damage so it enabled it on the bottom right again now, come on let's attack Oh my gosh, look how much damage it does. It's because it pretty much attacks for you without actually having to click and stuff like that. So it really helps. Obviously, you know, I killed him like in a second. So it's pretty overpowered. And look, he leveled up. So it's pretty efficient, right? Anyways, you also have destroy GUI, which will close the GUI until you re-execute it. So I'm not going to do that because I want to keep it open and show you the world section. Alright, so we got four worlds. So we got the Dragon Ball world, the Naruto world, the Jojo world, and the One Piece world. Alright, so let's teleport to the Dragon Ball world right here, which is the default, right? So we're already here once we first start. Let's go to the Naruto world. Oh my gosh, I teleported in the in, in the ground. Alright, here, here. I don't know why I teleported into the ground, but anyways, here we are walking around in the Naruto world where we definitely aren't supposed to be right now. So it's pretty sick, you know, you can come here even though you're not supposed to. And you can attack these guys. And, dude, look how much health he has. He has 3,000. Are you uh, almost 4,000? So. I don't know if my guy doing 7 damage per second is going to do much. Oh well, you know, it's fine. Let's go to the JoJo world right here. Oh my god, I fell over again. Uh, but anyways, here we are. And once again, we are not supposed to be here. Oh my, the default guys have 10k health. Definitely not. And let's go to the One Piece world over here. And let's see how much health these guys have. Um, maybe... Maybe I'm not supposed to be here because it did say that there's a new world coming soon. 
Maybe this is a new world, or maybe just no one is high enough level in my lobby. Who knows? But anyways, obviously you guys can see that I can teleport here, and oh my, 200k health on like a, a normal enemy. That is a lot. Anyways, that's pretty much all for the worlds, and let's move on to the eggs. So you guys can open all these different types of eggs, right? So the ocean, the crazy, the ninja, and the super. And you can also auto-open them. So you can either just open a lot. So let's say you want to open like five eggs, you know, it's kind of annoying opening the GUI, buying egg, opening egg. But with this, you can just click it five times and you will buy five. Now, I don't know how much coins I actually have. I have 200, so I can buy an egg, so I'll do that. I'll buy one. So just like that. Okay, let me actually go to my, okay, here we are. And we got Sensei, okay, cool. So we got him and let's say for example, I, I want to buy a bunch. So let's say I'm, I have lots of coins and I want to buy lots of ninja eggs. But for, for this example, we're going to say the super eggs are the ninja eggs because I cannot even buy one. Uh, so we'll turn on auto open and it's just going to start auto buying a bunch of eggs. And you click it again to turn it off, of course. And just like that, I got another guy, but I can only buy one more because I don't have any more credits. But you guys get the idea. And now look at this, I got I got my whole my whole group now, okay? Anyways, so guys, let's move on to the next GUI. Alright, you guys are gonna wanna go back to the website and of course copy the second script, as you can see right here, and then copy it. Then you guys are gonna wanna take out your executor once again, paste the script, make sure it's attached, mine is still attached, and then just execute it. And once you guys have executed it, you should see another GUI and you're like, hmm, this looks the same. Now it may look pretty similar, it's using the same, you know, UI, but it is a completely different script. So there is an auto farm, you guys will like this. You also have a mix section and credits. So let's start off with the credits, guys. So you can join the creator's Discord by uh, clicking on this button. It will copy their Discord to your clipboard, I guess it's called, the control C. Just paste it in like Chrome or something and you can join their server like that. You can also copy their tag if you want. It's really your choice. Anyways though, let's move on to the mix, which first off we got anti-AFK. Now this is going to be super helpful, especially since this is an auto farming GUI. You guys will definitely need to turn this on. And pretty much if you don't know what anti-AFK does, it makes it so it doesn't kick you even if you're not touching anything. So let's say for example, like, you know, you're just playing the game and then you go to like, uh, eat lunch, right? Once you come back, you're gonna be kicked because you weren't touching your keyboard and the game was like, hey, you're not here anymore. Let me get rid of you. And it's gonna kick you. But what this does, it prevents that, right? So it just makes it so you can now not get kicked even though you're not touching anything which is going to be useful because with auto farming you're not touching your keyboard you know it does it by itself so you're going to need this all right but anyways let's first start off with auto kill enemies hopefully it teleports to the default island which it did and now it's killing these guys right so pretty much you turn on auto kill enemies and honestly guys you won't be able to see a lot uh, I can scroll out. Oh, there you go. You could see for a second, but I'm killing these guys super fast. As you can see, every time I zoom out and you're actually able to see something, they're like at 2-5 sec health, and I'm already at 107 uh, coins. What you guys can also do is auto-collect coins, which will also help you collect all the coins in the map that haven't been picked up, <laughs> which you can sometimes like steal other people's coins when they just killed an enemy. So sometimes it's pretty funny, like, like I said, it was pretty funny, you know, you can do that. And anyways, right now I have like 400 coins, so it obviously works pretty well and you can make lots of coins really quick. But anyways, let me stop this for a second and let me turn off all this and I'm like stuck inside this guy. Another feature we have is auto click damage, which what this will do is like, you guys saw it earlier, how it did like extra damage by clicking. It's the same thing for, but for the auto farm. So I definitely recommend turning this on while auto farming, cause it can make the process go much faster. And lastly, if you go to select mob, it will let you select the mob that you wanna do. So just choose what you guys are on. Of course, the default is the first ever 
like mobs, which as you can see right here, I'm attacking. They're really easy guys with 50 health. So just do whatever you guys level are on, you know, whatever they're called, I have no idea. I don't really play this game much, but you guys will surely know. You guys are really smart. But anyways, thank you for sticking along until the end of the video. Hopefully you did enjoy, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. Remember, we are trying to hit 70k, and once we hit that, we will be doing the Synapse X giveaway with one extra key just for my members. But if you guys aren't a member already, maybe you can become one by clicking on that blue join button down below, just like all these guys right here did. Thank you guys for becoming members. Your support is appreciated, and you help me do all the Synapse giveaways for the goals, subscriber goals. But thank you for sticking along till the end, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you guys.